In this video, I'm going to show you how to insert clip art into a Word document. So I have my blank document open right here, and you can have any information you want in here. Maybe you have text, maybe you have a title, and you just want to insert the clip art. Um, and this is Word 2010, but it should be similar for recent versions, uh, maybe 2003 and newer. Uh, so the first thing you'll want to do is uh, position your cursor where you'd like to insert the clip art and you can always move it around later uh, just something to keep in mind uh, then click on the insert tab and then locate the clip art button and click on that and that brings open the clip art window so let's say I want to I want to insert uh, an image of a dog so I'm just going to type dog and before I hit go, uh, I can choose different types of media, but in this time I don't need audio and I don't need video. So all I have checked are illustrations and uh, photographs. So I'm going to just click here to close that and then click on go. And just keep in mind that they, they may not have what you're looking for available. Uh, if, if you're looking for something obscure but they do have quite a large library of images so I can just scroll down and kind of look at all the different options here until I find something that I like and you can also if there's something specific you're looking for a specific like a specific breed of dog uh, you can type that in as well so uh, let's see how about this pug here since I have a pug and as I'm hovering over it you can see the um, the dimensions of the image and uh, the size of it um, and the quality just to give you an idea of, of what's going in there so I'm just gonna click on this and it inserts it into my document and it looks like it fills out the page pretty well. If it was smaller, if I want to adjust the size, just double click on the image and it brings up the formatting uh, uh, row here, you know, uh, control area, all the formatting tools. You can adjust the size if you want. You can crop it. So maybe I want to crop off part of that. Uh, I can add I can add a border to it if I'd like. I can add picture effects. If we want shadowing. I'm going to zoom out a little just to show this a little bit better. Uh, another thing you can do is play with the format here, the picture styles. So you can add a border. And as you can see, it does a preview of what it's going to look like before you select it. So you can see if it will work for your photo. See here, it kind of looks like a photograph. Uh, and that has a metal frame. Um, that drops a shadow. That kind of curves the sides. That feathers the edges. That puts a big border on it. And you can look at all of these different types just to see what works for what you're doing. So once you have all of that done, uh, you can add another image, you can add text, whatever you'd like. Uh, something else you can do is, uh, if you right click, you can add a caption. So we can click on that, and uh, the default is uh, figure figure one, figure two, and so on. Uh, you can choose equation, table, whatever you'd like. Um, if you don't want it to say that, you can click, uh, check out the exclude label from caption box, but it still puts a one there. Keep in mind that you can just delete this afterwards, so it doesn't really matter what's there because you can edit it later. So uh, we can just put in uh, Chinese pug dog. I want to space there. So, okay. And it puts in, I'll zoom back in. 
and it puts in your caption here and you can edit this you can change the color if you'd like and you can delete the number so you have quite a bit of options so I hope this tutorial helped don't forget to check out my blog at sallyu.com subscribe to my channel find me on Twitter and check back soon for more awesome video tutorials thanks for tuning in